setting. All right, let's start with our wide base. We're going to warm up around the hips and the shoulders. So we'll stand up, taking a wide stance. And we're going to bend and lengthen our legs. And you can even just lean on your legs as you bend and lengthen. Just lean down on your own thighs. And then bend and stay. And let's take the arms out and up. Interlock the hands at the top and push up as you bend down. Let's close our eyes and breathe three deep breaths. Inhale, one. And exhale. You can blow out through a straw on that exhalation. Inhale, two. And blowing out through the straw. Inhale, three. Okay, release your hands and relax the legs for a moment. Bend and lengthen. We'll just give the arms a little jolly swing because we're going back in. All right, so bend the knees. Let's push out this time. Open hands, pushing out. Bend knees. You can close your eyes. Take deep inhales and breathing out through your mouth. Big deep inhales. In through the nose, out through the mouth, kind of through a little straw. Last inhale. Exhale. And then bend and lengthen. Swing your arms, maybe give yourself some shoulder rolls. Hopefully we're kick-starting, a little bit of energy in the body, a little bit of heat maybe, maybe, and definitely stimulating in the muscles. All right, so now we're going to take our arms up. I want you to imagine that you're holding a big Pilates ball. So a Pilates ball kind of size. We're going to inhale in the center, holding our big Pilates ball. Tip the ball to the right. Take three breaths here. Inhale, one. Exhale. So we've tipped ourselves to the right side. You'll be really feeling the heat in the right side thigh. Inhale, two. Exhale, inhale three, and exhale here. Okay, lift up to the center and tip it to the left. Three breaths, one, exhale, two. If you need little breaks, you can take little micro breaks, just a little lengthen and come back in. Inhale three, Exhale here. Okay, come back into the center. Now lean on the legs, really lean. So you're taking the body weight and drop a shoulder forwards. So as you drop a shoulder forwards, you're kind of leaning on tent pole arms. If you can keep your arms straight, that would be nice and effective to really reach out of the side body and then tip to the other side. So in your own time, go from side to side. It's a nice break to the thighs because the thighs are not holding you up anymore. You're just leaning down onto your thighs. Okay, last exercise in this squat. You're going to go from side to side and it's like you're sitting on a chair on wheels and you're gliding from side to side. Your arms can just reach out like you're in a warrior two, but the palms are lifted up. Let's do five more glides. Five, <laughs> four, three. You look so, like some kind of weird insect. Two <laughs> and one. Come into the center, lift up. And just give yourself a heel toe, heel toe. Give yourself a little shake out. All right, so let's shake for one minute. I'm going to shake in a little shaky dance. Our hands, of course, our boobs are shaking around. Everything is shaking. <laughs> you can have a little twist in your dance. And this shaking dance becomes a little jumping dance. And in whichever way you want to, you can fling your arms around. Just let your whole system be stimulated. Shaking, shrugging, flicking, you can flick your hands out. We've got about 20 more seconds of keeping a little bit of shake and bounce in the system. We want to get metabolic rate to shift, to speed up. Okay, five more seconds, whatever goes, whatever your body does, free dance and then land, lean down onto your knees, Kapalabhati breaths now, so 40 rounds of short, sharp breaths through your nose, your belly bounces, your belly comes in on the exhalation. Okay, 40 pulses, Kapalabhati, ready and go.
That's 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Reach up, inhale, hands up, hold breath. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Well done. And just let yourself dangle your arms down. Let yourself calm down. We're using that Kapalabhati, even though we feel like puffing and huffing, we're using that Kapalabhati to equalize and stabilize the metabolic rate, the heart rate and the breath rate. Let's come back in and we'll do one more round of Kapalabhati, 40 pulses, ready and go. Last 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Reach up, inhale, hold. Hold breath for 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Hand release and relax. All right, we're going to do some swinging movements now. So as you start to swing your arms, one goes forwards, one goes back, and you have a little bounce in the middle. So this will be fairly obvious to get this coordination of the swing, swing, swing. So for some of you, swinging your arms forwards and backwards will be enough. If you feel very, very clever and coordinated today, you can do whole circles, whole circles. And so if you feel like you can do those two whole circles, they're both going in different directions. If the swinging of the arms is enough, just stay swinging. If you're doing whole circles, switch sides, and it might be that it's perfectly coordinated on one side and a little tricky on the other. So just keep trying, keep attempting. Good for the brain to try and work this out or just swinging forwards and backwards. All right, another few seconds of swinging arms with a little bend in the knees and then slow down the swing. All right, so now spinning. So we'll go into rotation. So we're going into a big helicopter spin. That's like a washing machine. This is really great for organs in the belly, as well as the spine, connective tissue across the shoulder blades. Swinging, 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 and you're kind of whacking yourself each time. The hands land onto the body. Whack, whack. Okay, three more. Three, two, one and then come into the center. Turn your palms open, standing in nature, bend the knees a little bit, close your eyes and feel, of course your fingertips will feel full, perhaps a little tingly. You've thrown the blood right into the edges. Let your fingertips and hands uh, come back into a balance. Let yourself calm down. Smooth and slow breathing. You're right here, right now, alive and brilliant, standing at the center of yourself. We're all at the center of our own universes. We all get a single place to be in this vast universe. And you're a living space, a miracle place, a radiant being. You're the soul of this place. And so land here, wakeful, perhaps grateful, but definitely whole. You are whole and complete, landing here, alive and brilliant. And to this alive and brilliant, soulful place that you call your body and your mind, your life, we're going to bow together in the sun salutation. And so let's bring blocks to the front of the mat. And we'll start to use the sacred prayer that we call the sun salutation. Just bring yourself back into that wakeful space. All right, let's do a few rounds of the Hatha yoga version of sun salutation. First up to stretch our legs out. Okay, the inhale brings our arms up. Exhale brings the hands down, fold down. And the right foot steps back, the back knee comes down and the arms come up if it's okay with the lower back. Take an inhale here. Hands down, foot back, down dog. Knees, chest, chin. Knees come down, chest between the hands. Chin on the mat, take a breath. On the next inhale, scoot forwards into a cobra. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, down dog. Couple of breaths in the down dog, just enjoying 
the leg stretch, the power in the arms, the spread of the fingers, the upside downness of this position, the flood of blood into the face, into the eyes and the tongue. Smooth out your breathing. On the next breath in, you're going to take the right foot forwards, right foot steps forwards, back knee down, arms come up, inhale. Exhale, come forwards into the forward fold. Inhale, arms up, looking up. And back to the beginning. Left side, inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold down. Left foot back, back knee down, arms come up. We'll take an extra breath just to orient and acclimatize. Inhale here. Exhale, hands down, foot back, down dog. Knees, chest, chin. So the knees come down, the chest between the hands, the chin onto the floor. Take an extra breath here. On your next inhalation, scoot forwards into the cobra. Doesn't have to be big and high. Exhale, down dog. Couple of breaths just to orient ourselves into down dog. Smooth your breathing. It might be that you've got a little bit of whisper on your breath. Okay, the left foot on the next inhale steps forwards. Left foot forwards, back knee down, arms up. Inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, arms up, look up. Back to the center. Let's keep going. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold down. Right foot back, back knee down, arms up. Inhale. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, knees, chest, chin. We'll take an extra breath. Inhale and exhale here. Inhale, cobra, slide through. Exhale, down dog. Three breaths. Inhale, one. Exhale. Two. Three. Right foot steps forward, back knee comes down, arms come up, inhale. Exhale, forward fold, step forward. Inhale, arms up, look up, back to the beginning. Left side, inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold down. Left foot back, back knee down, arms up, inhale. Down dog, exhale. Knees, chest, chin for the extra breath. Chest is between your hands. Inhale, exhale here. Inhale, cobra sliding through. Exhale, down dog, three breaths. Inhale, one. Exhale. Inhale, two. Exhale, nice bright hands. Three. Exhale, here. Left foot forwards, back knee down, arms up, inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, arms up, look up, and back to the beginning. Let's do Sun Salutation B. We're switching traditions into the Sun Salutation B Ashtanga yoga style now. And so the breath is smoother and slower. Come into some city feet together, broad shoulders, broad hands, nice and tall. And now inhale, the arms come up slowly. Two, three, Four, exhale, fold down. I forgot the chair pose there. That's all right. We'll do it the next time. Three, four, into the half left, hands on shins. Three, four, step right foot, left foot, foot back to plank. Two, three, four, inhale, plank. Two, three, four, smoothly, slowly down onto the ground. Two, three, four, inhale into the cobra. Three, four, and then to down dog. Let's bring our blocks underneath our hands now. We're in down dog with long arms, hands on blocks. Let's go from down dog to three-legged dog. Lift the right heel straight to the sky so the toes are pointing down. Three-legged dog, nice and square in the pelvis. Three breaths here, inhale one. Exhale, lift the back heel, toes face down. Inhale two, exhale. Last breath, inhale three. Exhale here. Right foot steps forwards in between the blocks. Back foot ground. So you're going to turn the back heel in and down. Bend through the front knee. We're in warrior one for three breaths. You can look up through your hands. Inhale one. Exhale. Bend the front knee. Ground the back heel. Inhale two. 
Exhale, smooth breathing. Last breath, inhale, three. Exhale, fingertips towards the floor and tip forwards into the arrowhead for three breaths. Tailbone down to the back heel, not sticking your butt out. Inhale, one. Exhale, two. Exhale. Last inhale here. We're going to take our hands down and the right foot steps back. We're back into the down dog. We're going to flush that out of the legs before we do the same on the other side. So lift the left heel up, straight up towards the sky. Pelvis is square. Lift the back heel. Toes face down. Three breaths. One. Exhale. Two. Lift the back heel. Toes face down. Exhale. And three. Exhale here, left foot steps forwards, back heel is in and down, warrior one for three breaths, bend the front knee, ground the back heel, breathe in one, exhale, two, exhale, last inhale here, let's bring the fingertips down and tip forwards into the arrowhead for three breaths, inhale one, exhale, Two, three, exhale, hands down, foot back, flush that out of the legs and then remove the blocks for the three breaths in down dog. Spread your fingers, maybe lengthening the legs, tilt the pelvis, lift the buttock bones up to the sky, spread the shoulders and release the neck. We're up to two, exhale. We're up to inhale, three. Exhale, bend the knees and look forwards. Ready for the step walk or jump forwards to the half lift. Step walk or jump, half lift. Inhale, exhale, fold down. We're into chair, bend knees, lift hands, chair. Samastitihi. Let's keep going. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, forward fold. Half lift, inhale. Left foot, right foot back to the plank. Exhale. Inhale, plank. Exhale, either to chaturanga or the floor. Into a cobra or an up dog. To do the down dog. And we'll grab those blocks again. So we get some arm extension. We've got hands on the blocks. All right, warrior two. Lift the right foot up. You can open the heel and point through the toes for a moment. Take an extra breath here. Okay, inhale, right foot forwards, back foot square. Bring a block with you. Back foot is square. We're in warrior two. We're going to pass the block around the front and then around the back. Seeing if you can bring your arms and the block in line with your shoulders. And so it will be, of course, hard at the back. Don't strain anything. And see if you can keep your head and rib cage steady so you're not reaching your chin forwards. Okay, pass the block in the other direction. We'll do four or five circles in the other direction. Keep the right knee bending, you're still in warrior two. Okay, last circle, bring the block back down to the floor. Let's open our hands and open our shoulders. We're in warrior two for three breaths. Inhale, one, exhale, two, exhale. Last breath here, three. Okay, exhale, hands back onto the blocks, foot comes back, flush that out of the legs, we're back into the down dog, we'll do the other side. Lift the left foot up, you can point the toes and lift and open the hip, lift for an extra breath here. Okay, next inhale, left foot forwards, back foot square, warrior two, bring a block. Instead of passing around in circles, now we're going to pass the block behind us from the top hand to the bottom hand, so it's zigzagging behind you, the block goes from the top hand to the bottom hand. And if it's not possible, or if it's uh, not productive, you can just make the shape. You don't have to use the block. If you've got very heavy blocks, of course, it's harder for you. <laughs> if you've got a nice, nice foam block like me, it's pretty easy. All right, so this is a mobility task for our shoulders and it's pretty tough. Passing three more, so three, and two, keep your breath smooth and steady. One, well done. Bring the block back down and open out your shoulders. You're in warrior two for three breaths. Inhale, one, exhale. 
Inhale, two, bend the knee deeply, charge the back leg. Exhale, last inhale here. And then you can take a little dive down onto the blocks, flush that out of the legs. Let's give ourselves a break before we do our three breaths in down dog. So knees down, bring your buttocks back, but leave your arms out front, leave your hands on the blocks, bring the forehead towards the floor. And we'll just let the shoulders open, but we're nice and grounded in the hips. And the lower back is nice and spread. Feel the softness coming across the sacrum. Last breath in this uh, shoulder opener, child's pose. And then we're gonna go to down dog, but move the blocks first. So blocks off the mat, we're in a down dog, hands on the mat. Three breaths here, nice spread hands, inhale one. Exhale, two, and three, bend your knees, look forwards, inhale, step walk or jump forwards into the half left, inhale there, exhale, fold, inhale, chair pose, and some here, let's just give ourselves a little swing in your arms, a little shake and flick out of the legs. All right, we're going to continue in this sun salutation B as a kind of a, a skeleton phrase of movement. We're going to weave other things in. Okay, coming back to samastitihi and inhale chair pose. Two, three, four, forward fold. Two, three, four, half left. Right foot, left foot plank for the extra breath. Two, three, four, inhale plank. Three, four, exhale, chaturanga on the floor. Three, four, up dog or cobra. Three, four, down dog. Let's bring hands onto the blocks again and we'll play around with some more standing poses. So lift the right foot up towards the sky, bend the knee and you can kink a little. You can look underneath your right armpit, lift the right knee, bring the heel towards the buttock. Just for a moment longer here. And then right foot in between the blocks. Back foot is square. We're coming into warrior two, but we're not gonna stay here. We're gonna go straight into the side angle. So the right elbow onto the knee or hand onto the brick and the left hand up and over. Bend the knee deeply, looking up towards the palm if it's okay with the next three breaths. Inhale, one. Exhale. Two. Three. All right, lift up and around. So you're going to cartwheel your arms into reverse warrior, the left hand and come around it. Can I come all the way around and grab the opposite thigh if you want to? Lift your right hand up towards the sky. Lift the gaze as well if it feels comfy in the neck. Bend the right knee. Two more breaths in the reverse warrior. Last breath here. We're going into this uh, from reverse warrior to triangle pose so as you reach your right hand down you can keep your left hand behind you tip the block into the tall edge hand comes onto the block lengthen the right leg and lift the left shoulder so you can use the left hand coming behind you as a shoulder opener even if you've just got a little fist in your left hand you're pushing your fist into the back of your body or your hand comes around and grabs the opposite thigh lengthen through the legs let's take three more breaths here inhale one exhale Inhale, two, exhale. Last breath, inhale, three, exhale here. Let's bend the knee, bring the block back to the floor, hands down, foot back, flush that out of the legs. Just give yourself a little walk out in the down dog. Before we go to the other side, let's have a little break in child's pose. Knees come down. You can bring your hands back underneath your forehead. Let yourself rest and breathe and soften. Taking a few moments to relieve the effort. Smooth and slow breathing. Yeah. Uh, so from our child's pose, let's do the other side. So we're going to come forwards, hands on bricks, down dog. 
lifting the left foot nice and high, bending the knee, heel towards the bum. You can look underneath your left armpit if you want to. Heel towards the bum, lift the back knee. Okay, last breath here. Left foot through between the blocks, back foot square, coming into the warrior two just for a moment. And then left elbow either on the knee or left hand grabs the block and turns it onto its second or first edge and up and over with the top hand. Three breaths, side angle. One, exhale. Two, exhale. Three, exhale here. The right hand comes around the back and you can lengthen through the left hand to the sky into the reverse warrior, reaching to the sky one. Keep bending the left knee. Two. Three. Triangle is next. So we can reach down for the block, tip it onto the tall edge. Keep the right hand behind you. Lengthen the left leg. Open the top shoulder. Right shoulder opens. You can grab the opposite thigh behind you if you want to or a fist into the back of your body. It might be that the fist is resting on your kidney. Let that fist lift and open the top shoulder. Breathing, smooth, slow breaths. Two more breaths here. All right, so we're going to visit warrior two just to orient ourselves in space. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, back down onto the hands. Foot comes back, bend and flush that out of the legs. Let's keep going from this down dog. So we'll just do some more standing poses straight from this down dog. Lift the right foot up and then step it forwards. Bring your back knee down and then make a 90-90 shape with your legs. So the back knee is directly underneath the hip. It might be that you need to bring it slightly further forward. All right, take the tailbone down towards the floor so you feel a little stretch over the front of the left thigh. Take your hands up, hold your left wrist, and then pull the armpit and the side ribs out of the side body. So you're reaching your arms across to the right. Three breaths, one. Exhale, tailbone down, reach to the right side. You're up and out of the left side chest. Last breath here. All right, so now we're going to take the blocks, tip the blocks into the tall edge, step your right foot a little bit further forwards or your left knee a little bit further back and sink into the lunge. So now we're in a deep stretch in the lunge. So we're going to take ourselves in from this lunge position into the hamstring stretch next. Tip the blocks, flex the front foot and pull the right hip back. It's nice to kind of stick your butt out Pull that right hip back in this hamstring stretch. You can bow down a little closer, perhaps your belly meeting the thigh. If you're feeling very flexible today, you might even bring your elbows onto the blocks. Flex that front foot, you're so close to your toes. Last breath here in this very deep hamstring stretch. All right, let's come forwards, tip the blocks. Lean forwards, blocks come down flat on the mat and then step back into the down dog, flush that out of the legs. Okay, sweep the left foot up, big step forwards, back knee down. And we're going to close the, the front heel and the back knee just a little bit. So the back knee is directly underneath the hip and tug the tailbone down. So you can feel the stretch across the front of the right thigh, perhaps arms come up, hold the right wrist pulling across to the left side. So you're stretching the right side all the way from the side hip up through the ribs, up through the arm and breathe. Smooth, slow breath. Last breath here. Okay, taking yourself back down, tip the blocks, tall edge, open the back knee and the front foot again and just lean into the lunge. So you're nice and passive across the front of the right thigh. Smooth breathing. Hamstring stretch is next. So you can tip the blocks, pull yourself back in space, flex the front foot, lengthen the front leg, stick your butt out, lean in. Oh, delicious. Such deep sensation. 
smooth breathing, lean in, bring the left hip back, smooth your breathing. Marvel at the depths of the sensation in this incredible radiant body that you call home. Okay, well done. Coming forwards, tipping your blocks forwards, lean in for a moment and then sweep yourself back to down dog. We'll continue on moving in and out of our standing poses and back to this down dog. So let's take a little lizard pose next. Lift the right foot up, right foot to right side of right block. And then the back knee comes down. So right foot to the right side of the right block. You're in the middle with your hands. Okay, so you can tip the blocks onto the second edge and maybe lean elbows onto the blocks. I like to pacify my back foot so you can really sink into this passive stretch. If you're feeling limber today, maybe the blocks go onto their flat edge or you might even do away with the blocks and sink down into the center. So wherever you are, not pushing yourself around, not pulling yourself apart, go to something that's sensible, having good sense in your sensation, responding to the reality of your tissues. Smooth out your breathing. So from the passive stretch of lizard lunge, if you've released your blocks out, bring them back in so that you can flatten them back out again. We're going to lean on the left block, which is flat. Right hand comes onto the knee and you can push out slightly, come onto the outer blade of your right foot. For those who are feeling adventurous, reach your right hand back, bend the back knee and catch the back foot. So if, if the back foot's not to be caught, don't try for too long, you'll get a cramp in your hamstring. So maybe, maybe you can catch the back foot and then lean a little further. If you haven't caught the back foot, just leaning onto the knee and pushing out a little bit, give, it, give yourself some inner thigh, groin and hip space on that right side. Couple more breaths here. And then we're back. Back into the lizard, tuck the back toes, sweep yourself back. You're back into down dog and flush that out of the legs. So just give yourself a moment to recover in the legs. That's a lot of stretch in a lot of places. <laughs> lift the left foot up, left foot lifts, left foot to left side of left block. Back knee comes down. We're gonna pacify in our lizard for a moment. So blocks might tip onto the second or flat edge, or you might remove the blocks and sink in, pacify the back foot. Smooth out your breathing. If you've gone too deep, you can pull yourself back out. There's no sense in tugging at the tissues in an aggressive way. That's not how tissues work. So if the tissues want the depth you can go deeper. If it feels more productive to come out of it slightly, come out. And then we will bring our blocks back into play, flatten them out. You're going to lean on your right hand block, the left hand onto the left knee. You can roll onto the outer edge of the left foot. Don't roll the ankle too heavily. You've still got a little bit of attention in that ankle. Maybe, maybe reaching back and catching the back foot if it's to be caught. That might be enjoyable. It might be too much. Come into some sensible stretch. So you're either opening using the left hand onto the thigh or the knee, or you're holding the back foot, maybe pulling the foot, the heel back into its own buttock. Take another breath here. And then releasing, if you've got the foot, release the foot, coming back into a squareness and then stepping back into the down dog and flushing that out of the legs. All right, let's enter a one-legged pigeon, but we're going to do it actively. So lift the right foot up and then bring the right knee towards the right block, but don't touch it. And then bring the right foot towards the left block and pause and smile and pause and breathe. Inhale one, you haven't landed by the way. <laughs> Inhale two. Exhale here, we've got one more breath, inhale three. Exhale here, we're gonna sweep up before we go into the pigeon position, sweep up and then you can land this time, right knee behind the right block, right foot behind the left block, walk back and down on the back leg, 
elbows onto the blocks and we'll pacify and our hands will have a nice break. You can either, either let your chin rest onto your knuckles or your forehead rest onto your forearms. Smooth out your breathing. And so this pigeon pose is going to develop into some really beautiful hip mobility work. Just be careful of your knees as we work our hips. So from our pigeon pose now, take the blocks away. They're gonna cramp our style a little bit if they're in play. So the back leg is coming around the front and then we're gonna hook over the knee with that left foot over right knee, hug the right arm around the left knee, spin the lungs and breathe out of Matsyandrasan. Spin the lungs, pull the knee into the chest, pacify your belly a little bit, pacify the inner kind of front thigh area so you're not pinching right into your iliacus or your hip flexors. You're using your arm to pull that knee into your chest. All right, we're gonna unhook the foot, bring it to the front. With or without hands, get your butt off the floor. Butt off the floor, that's it. And then sit back down, but slowly. Beep, 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 beep. Sit back down, come back off your bum, all the way up to standing, right knee comes out. Right knee is out and up. A little curtsy, right foot, behind left leg, you can touch the toes and then curtsy down that back knee, that right knee might touch the floor, it might come close to the floor and then lift back up, right knee comes out. We're gonna do that curtsy twice more. Right toes touch floor, back knee maybe towards or even touching the floor and then the right knee out, out, out. Right foot comes behind, bend, 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 curtsy. Okay, well done. Right knee out, and we're going back down with that right leg. So you're backing up. So coming coming down the way you came up, knee comes down, sit behind your heel, left foot comes back around, you're back into the pigeon pose. Oh. Bring the blocks back into play, and we'll go back into three-legged dog. So tuck the back toes, sweep the right foot up towards the sky, and then bring it down and flush that out the legs. Let's do the other side. So lift the left foot up, left knee towards the left block, left foot towards the right block and pause, three breaths, inhale one, exhale. Inhale two, exhale. Inhale three, exhale, well done. Sweep the foot back to the sky and then you can land this time, left knee behind left block, left foot behind the right block. And Walk back and down on the back leg, elbows down onto the bricks, pacify your face however you feel that's going to be comfortable and soften the tissues around the hips. Smooth out your breathing. And it's time to move the blocks off the mat so you've got loads of space. Back leg comes around, it hooks over the front knee and we spin the lungs by hugging the knee right into the chest with the opposite arm. Sit nice and tall, that's it. Smooth out your breathing. Tall and twisted, tall and twisted. Another big, deep, full and delicious breath here. All right, we can unhook that front foot. It's just in front of the left ankle with or without hands, see if you can get off your bum. And then go back down slowly. Beep, 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 and land. And this time we're gonna stand all the way up. So lift off the bum. Lift off the knee, left knee out, 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 out. Little curtsy, left foot behind the right. Toes are on the floor, bend both knees. Your hands can move away. It's like an arrowhead in the arms. And then sweep the left knee out and up. And behind, big deep curtsy, big deep bow. And then out with the left knee. 
This is my new favorite position to play with, this curtsy position you might have noticed. And then out with the left knee, we're going to back up and into the same position. So we're backing all the way down, landing, using your hands if you need to, land on your butt. Right foot comes around the back. We're in the one-legged pigeon. We reintroduce the blocks. Back into three-legged dog, left foot to the sky, lift. And then you can land with that left foot. Bend one knee at a time, just flush that out of the legs. All right, so let's bring our knees to the floor and move the blocks away from the mat. I'm gonna put some weight bearing into the arms. So you can either clasp your hands or flatten your hands down onto the mat. We're gonna do a dolphin pose next. We're gonna put some load bearing in the shoulders. So it's up to you whether your hands meet or flatten onto the floor. You're going to tuck your toes, look back, your knees are lifted and you're looking back at your toes. So you're pushing into your elbows, spreading your shoulders a little bit. Head is not touching the floor. You're in a dolphin variation, breathing. Couple more breaths. You're pushing into your elbows, broadening your shoulders, releasing your head and neck, but the head can lift off the floor, I imagine. If it can't, you're not leaning on your head. You're just shy of your hair, perhaps. Last breath here. Well done. Bring your knees down. Bring yourself into a child's pose to rest your shoulders. Some back body breaths will be very welcome here. All right, now that we've got... Nice open hips, nice ready shoulders. We're going to do a strassen. And so if you're not really into this back bend and you don't feel it's very comfortable at all, you can just keep your hands on your hips and lift your chest. Just a little lift of the chest will be enough. That might be already quite heavy on the lower back. You can do that with tucked toes or pointed toes. So let's all have a little check-in. How do I feel about looking up and arching my spine? And let's all come out of that position. And as we come out, we can just lean on our hands and give ourselves a little wag of the tail. So it might be that you're doing exactly that again, or you're gonna take three breaths in the camel pose or strassen. If you're gonna use the tuck of the toes, you're reaching for your heels. So just tap your heel right side, tap your heel left side so your hands know where the heels are. And then you're gonna swing your arms, swing, 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 reach back, catch your fingertips onto your heels, lift your chest, lift your chin. Three breaths of stress and inhale, one. Exhale, not dropping the whole weight of the head back, just looking up, inhale, two. Exhale. Inhale, three, you brave and glorious thing. Exhale, well done, well done. Lift up, sit up, leaning onto your hands and then just wag your tail. Wag your tail, surrender in the lower back. All right, bring the feet to the front. We'll do some double pigeon wandering. So right in front of left, crossed at the shins, flexed at the feet, move the muscle off the sit bones. Sit nice and tall. You might close your eyes and then lean forwards onto your fingertips. Going a little deeper, a little deeper maybe. Of course, there's a limit. Well, the nose on the floor would be the limit, right? <laughs> okay, so going to something that's sensible because you're making sense of the sensation. Smoothing out your breathing. The gorgeous hip opener of the double pigeon. And we're gonna wander around now. So wander your hands to the left side. So you can pull an open right side chest. We're pulling into a twist and side stretch. Take careful and mindful breaths so you don't pinch or strain anything on that short side. That left side, if we're not careful, might pinch a little bit. So we don't want the pinching. Okay, walking across to the right side. So we get some side stretch and twist. We just want to pull right out of the lower back and pelvis. We want to really reach out of the pelvis on that left side but we don't want to pinch down on the right side as a consequence. So the cause and effect is either we're very fine with our action. We are refining the way that we do what we do so that we're careful, yet not timid. 
Okay, come back into the center. Lean in just for another moment. Pull forwards, lean in. The delicious hip opening effect. And then wander back, wander back, wander back. Windshield wipe your legs from side to side just to release out of that. Massaging the hips. Rolling the ball in the socket. Left in front of right. Crossed at the shins, little flex in the feet. Lift uh, flesh off the sit bones. And then just sit tall, hands on the knees. Connecting to the ground of your own being. Before you lean forwards a little bit, just on the fingertips maybe. And then wandering a little deeper. Nothing to prove. Just leaning in and sensing yourself. The radiant being of you. Smooth out your breathing, every part of your body, every system that allows you to thrive will appreciate deep, slow breathing, your nervous system, your cardiovascular system, even your organs, your urinary system and your kidneys, your whole system, the stomach and the liver and the uterus, and the ovaries, all of the systems are appreciating the deep, slow breathing even your skin enjoys the shape shifting all right this time we're going to wander back up to sitting before we do side stretches so lean on your left hand and reach your right arm up and over reaching up and out of the side belly side ribs a couple breaths here in side stretch and then come up and slowly, slowly, without haste, coming over to the other side, side stretch, luxuriating in the sensation. And then ease back up to the center. Let's finish with twists. So we're going left hand to right knee, spin the lungs. Soft face, you don't need to spin your head, just your ribs. Using the arms to spin the ribs. Breathe deep, slow breaths down into your belly. If you need to back off on the inhalation because the inhalation takes up a bit of space, then back off a little bit and then increase the twist on the exhalation. So you can do some breathing twists, which means backing out of the twist on the inhale and then deepening the twist on the exhale. Last one, backing out maybe on the inhale. Deepening twist on exhale. Release and without any haste, coming into a little wiggle in the center and we'll go to the other side, right hand, left knee, anchoring your arms to support the twist. And it might be that you back out each inhale just a little bit and deepen on the exhale. Smooth your breathing, smooth breathing, smooth mind. Two more breathing twists. And then slowly Coming back into the center, sit for a moment, have a little wiggle in the center. And we're gonna sit and close off our practice with some mantra. So bring maybe a block underneath your seat, get your favorite cross, crossed legs that is, the favorite position for sitting. Any little adjustments that you need to make to get comfy and sit tall and close your eyes and come home to the center. To come home to the center, you can just anchor the mind on the breathing, letting the movement of the mind come into the ground and movement of, of the being, the ground and the movement of your being, your beautiful body, the incredible breathing, your breathing home, 
movement of the mind resting on the movement of the body. Let your mind escape, stretch out across the room that you're in. You can feel the room. You can feel the space beyond the room. You can feel wherever your home or this room is, whichever village or town or city, stretch out. Embrace the whole village or town or city and keep going, keep stretching out to embrace as far and as wide as you can and as many of the living beings that you can fathom. Stretch out, why not stretch across the whole planet to include everyone, everywhere, everyone, everywhere, the whole living community, every animal, every other person. Stretch into the spaciousness of your mind, wrapping up the whole planet to everyone, everywhere, we'll send this hopeful prayer, the Shanti Mantra, we can bring our hands into the center, keep your mind open, embracing the living community, wrapping them up in your hopeful prayer, may all beings, everyone, everywhere, may we all live with a sense of ease, peace, joy, May we all be safe. May we all be safe. May we all be safe. May we all be at peace. Embrace everyone, embrace us. And send out this hopeful prayer into the field, that shared field of all the living creatures, calling up this prayer. Loka Samasta Sukino Babantu Loka Samasta Sukino Babantu One more Loka Samasta Sukino Babantu Allow the prayer to infuse your being. This hopeful prayer, may all beings be at ease, be at peace. May we all be safe and healthy. May we all find joy. May we all be at ease. Just to close off our practice, we're going to reach out and up as we inhale. We're gathering our blessings. Inhale, reach up, hands meet. And then exhale slowly through the center, bringing yourself right into the center. Your hands move slowly through the center. We're going to do that with a hum. Of course, Zoom doesn't allow us to hear hums or oms. <laughs> so we reach up and I'm going to hum down. So let yourself reach out and up and then hum through the center. Mm. Humming all the way down, humming all the way down. You're bringing yourself home, reaching out and up, gathering your prayers and bringing them all home. Humming all the way through the center, slowly letting your hands come through the center, hearing your own voice. Uh, each time you reach out and up, you're gathering your blessings. Gathering your blessings and bringing them home right into the center as you hum down through the center, humming all the way through the center. Last one, we'll gather our prayers, our visions and our hopes and bring them into being, bring them into body, bring them into the center of you, bringing them all the way home.
bringing them all the way home, right into the center of your being. We let ourselves rest here for a moment, feeling empowered and courageous, feeling grounded and connected, feeling at home. You can let your hands rest onto your lap and soften into a few minutes of meditation. If you're not comfortable sitting, you can lie down and rest. You can do either sitting or lying down, surrender meditation, surrendering into this present, this body, surrendering into your family, in the place where you are in your life, surrendering into reality. Reality is you're a miraculous phenomenon. Reality is life is a gift. Reality is you're in the most incredible body on the most incredible planet. Reality is life is a gift. Surrender and let's just say yes. You might continue to meditate. You could meditate for the next few minutes, 10 minutes, 20 minutes. Oh, maybe you'll just meditate all day today. Or you can lie down for a couple of minutes. Whatever you do next, with a skip in your step, courageous, fearless heart, heart full of love and power. It's a pleasure to share with you as always. Namaste.